Hi guys. Hello. I'm just going to make some adjustments here. I'm very excited <laughs> to be doing this. Let's see. Okay. It's been a little while since I've done a live video. So <laughs> I'm getting back into the swing of things. All right. Well, until some more people show up, I'm going to just chat with you. Yay. <laughs> oh, there's already a few people here. Hooray. Hi, you guys. How awesome is this? Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Ambi and Julie and Becky and Cynthia and Jamie and Alicia. Hi, guys. Hi, hi. Can you all hear and see me okay? I always like to make sure that everything is working fine on your guys' end, that it's all coming through okay. So just let me know. Oh, hi, Vanessa. So sweet. Oh, thanks, Ambi. So glad you like the thrift hauls. Yay. Uh, Rose is asking, how'd the celebration go last night? Um, so if you guys didn't see my Instagram post today, um, I celebrated my parents' 40th wedding anniversary yesterday with them, which was so much fun. It was their Ruby anniversary. That's 40th. Um, so me and my mom wore red kind of in honor of that. So that was a lot of fun to get all dolled up and go out. And we kind of spoiled my mom with some gifts, which was really fun to do. I love giving gifts. So that was fun. Um, and then it was really sweet because my mom ha has always called my dad her knight in shining armor. Um, so she got him a little statue of just that. And it was the sweetest thing. I was like, I'm not going to cry my makeup off. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just so, so much fun. We had a great, great time together. And today is actually their real anniversary. This is the day that they got married 40 years ago. That's crazy. Oh, okay, good. It all looks good. Awesome. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, my mom, actually my sister, you guys know that she is a seamstress. She's very talented. Her gift to my mom for the anniversary was actually the dress that she was wearing. She was wearing this beautiful body conscious red dress. She looked like a million bucks. My sister just knocked it out of the park. So that was really, really fun. She looked gorgeous. Uh, so thank you. Yeah. My mom, I don't, I don't know what her secret is. <laughs> if you guys saw the pictures that I've shared or on my Instagram stories uh, today, I shared a picture of both of us from last night. Um, my mom's just a stunner. She's gorgeous. I don't know her secrets, but I hope that I got her genes in that department. <laughs> uh, hi, is it Bay B B Martin? Very sweet. Hi. <laughs> Oh, you guys are so sweet. Tell me what you've been up to. I mean, we're in kind of this holiday time of year. We just wrapped up Christmas and that was a lot of fun, a lot of family time, which was lovely, um, which I'm going to be sharing with you um, what I got for Christmas. I'm looking at the bag next to me. So I hope that that'll be fun for you guys. Um, but please let me know what you were up to or what your favorite item was that you got for the holidays or if you celebrate something else, what your favorite gift was. Um, and then New Year's. New Year's Eve is tomorrow. <laughs> like, what? How, how is 2019 almost here? It's just bananas. Um, I'm doing nothing. Me and Christopher are doing nothing. We have no plans. And that is perfectly fine with me. We're going to be going um, out of town in a couple days just for a little day trip to Napa. So that will be our little New Year's celebration. Let's see. Cold weather here in Vermont. Oh, boy. Yes, I can imagine, Jamie. It's been pretty nice here in Sacramento. Not too cold. Um, sometimes it would be nice if it would rain every now and again. <laughs> it's just been a little too warm. Oh, Jamie said you got a gift certificate to your favorite thrift store. What? what? Yes, that's always a great gift. Awesome. <laughs> CD Case says, uh, been doing is eating and more eating. Same here, my friend. Oh my gosh. And me and Christopher thought we were being so clever. We started the um, keto diet a few weeks ago and we're like, if we can make it through the holidays, we'll be fine. And then Christmas came along when my dad makes his amazing spaghetti 
and meatball sauce. I'm sorry, my nose has been running today. Um, when he makes his amazing spaghetti, and of course I indulged and indul indulged last night at dinner. It's just it's that time of year. Uh, Maria, oh, you're the one that I met at Target. Oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. It was so lovely to meet you. <laughs> and I met someone else just recently at uh, Thrift Town when I was there a couple of days ago. So that was fun. Uh, Alicia says that she got a soft white sweater with a flipping kitty on it. <laughs> it's in all caps, though. So that's why I did that. Um, you guys are going to see I got a few things with cats on it. Oh, my gosh. Apparently, it's widely known that I'm a crazy cat lady. So, yeah. I think that's kind of the go-to. <laughs> Welcome to everybody who's coming in. Hello, hello. So happy to have you. Uh, Faith says, hi from New Zealand. Hello. Oh, my gosh. New Year's Eve is today for you then. Oh, my gosh. How exciting. Uh, let's see, Julie. Cold and snowy in Michigan. Oh, yeah. Just take that time to be warm and snuggly inside. Uh, hi from Texas. Hello. Hello. Hi from Nova Scotia. Oh my golly. Hello. Wow. You guys are from all over. That's so fun. Hi from Arkansas. Oh, always enjoy your videos. So sweet. Hi, Barbara. So sweet. From Orlando. Oh, this is just so fun. I feel like I'm hanging out with old friends. Um, so we're just getting a little, uh, a dish from all you guys of what you've been up to for the holidays and what you're doing for New Year's Eve. You can keep those coming in. Always love hearing from you. Um, but I'll take a little poll. What would you guys like to see first? Would you like to see um, what I got at the bins, which is right next to me here? I did a little trip there recently. Um, I'm going to bring you a little closer. <laughs> um, so would you like to see that first or what I got for Christmas? Let me know. I'll wait a couple minutes and see what you guys would like to see first in this little live haul. All right, we have one vote for the bins. Okay, okay. Diana says hi from Fort Worth. Oh, I love your channel, very sweet. I've been to Fort Worth, that was a lot of fun. I actually went for um, an art education convention. Yeah, that's that's why I was there. Um, but it was really cool because you guys have that little area with all the museums in the same space, very cool. Okay, it's looking like the bins. <laughs> kind of overwhelmingly so that's what we will do first I will listen to you guys okay so I know usually when I share hauls from the bins it's uh I go to the store off of date avenue here in Sacramento um I you guys always seem to ask whenever I talk about the Goodwill outlet or the bins you always want to know which store if you are in the area um but this time I actually got the chance to go to the one on Franklin um, which is the only other one in Sacramento. I just happened to be in that area. Um, so I checked it out and I have a definitive answer on which one is my favorite because I was kind of going back and forth. And whenever anybody asked me, I would always just say, oh, the one off of Date Avenue because it's just closer to me. I go there more often. But I have determined that that is in fact my favorite one. This one, the one off of Franklin that I just went to, was a lot more like people knew what they were doing. Like they were just very, and if you weren't on that same schedule, you got ran over. <laughs> like there was no like picking and kind of like going in and out. It was like, you need to stay on the schedule with everybody else. Like they didn't like it when you kind of wove in and out, which is what I do at the other store. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and say I like my tried and true bin store that I go to on the reg. <laughs> just because it's a little more lax. So that is, that's my answer for that. All right, yes, you guys are saying bins. Perfect, so let's get into this. So the first thing that I got is this little jam sport, little mini teeny tiny backpack. <laughs> and you have to talk like that when you have things that are miniature, um, but it's in really good condition. It's got a little Velcro pocket there a little zipper pocket here with um, like a key holder and then the kind of bigger pocket, which I don't think has any organizers. Yeah, it's just one big area. But you guys know that I love like small versions of things and like small backpacks in particular. So of course I had to pick that one up. Um, I might be selling it on Poshmark though. So keep an eye out if you are interested. I think that one's gonna be going up there. 
All right. A bins tutorial, Julie, what do you mean? Like how to navigate the bins? Let me know more. Um, Stacy, you must be in the same area as me. You like the Franklin one. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's not terrible. I just think out of the two, I prefer the other one. Just because of that, I'm just like, whoa, like you guys are, you mean business. <laughs> All right, so the next thing is this little skirt. Doesn't that just make you want to go to Hawaii? <laughs> like book the first flight to Hawaii. Oh my gosh, if only. But it's this skirt by A New Day, and it's got these really cute kind of uh, palm leaves all over it. It's got pockets, like hello. Um, and I just love that coral color and the fact that it's a little skater skirt style. It is a size medium, so I do believe I'm going to wait until springtime and then put that up on Poshmark as well, because that's just a cute little number to have in your closet. Let's see. Found one of those same bags for your daughter. Oh, yeah, they're fun. They're just fun little bags. All right, how to navigate the bins. Okay, all right. Maybe me and my sister can tag team that one because she actually kind of taught me about the bins. I know, yeah, you guys are saying that you don't have bins in your area. I don't know why it's not consistent kind of all over um, and why we have two of them in Sacramento if other cities don't have them at all. I don't know. Um, I wish everyone could have the experience. <laughs> Just once and see what it's like. All right, so next is something that I'm definitely going to try for myself. I still need to wash everything, so I haven't tried them on. But it's this little Forever 21 little dress, very mod, but it's black with the white uh, pockets here, and then the white piece on top, and then the exposed zipper. Um, but I thought that would be so cute with some knee-high boots um, and maybe like a little uh, blouse underneath. So, of course, Saw that, snatched it up, hoping that it fits. It might be a little too too snug, especially <clears throat> the fact that it's Forever 21. Y'all know they tend to run pretty tiny. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm just reading the, the comments here. Closest bins to you are two hours away. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, too far. <laughs> All right, the next one. Oh, my gosh. I don't even have to tell you guys. <laughs> I've been so obsessed with Disney stuff. And I had been wanting a um, just a pullover, like really soft and you know really nice for this time of year. And I happened to find both of those things at the bins because I found a, this little number. So it's this little just Mickey Mouse red pullover, and it's that amazing like super soft teddy material. I'm not quite sure what to call it. But, oh, my God, could that be any more perfect? Um, it might be a little bit more snug than I'd like. It is a medium, but I think it could work. It'll, it'll do the trick. It'll serve its purpose. <laughs> and it's just cute. I love the fact that it's red with that little Mickey right there. And it is from Disney. It's got the little Disney tag there, which is always nice. Let's see. All right. Keep on going here. So the next couple items. It was the prints that drew me in. <laughs> and I've said before in my um, Bins haul videos um, that prints, I tend to just be drawn to the prints, you know, stripes, polka dots, whatever it is, because when you're dealing with just pounds and pounds of clothing and fabric and whatever is in there, <laughs> you tend to just kind of like be drawn to those prints that catch your eye. So I always end up with lots of really fun prints, which is awesome. Um, so the next one that I got is this really cute little navy and white heart print. It's actually little hearts, not polka dots, but just this little dress. And, um, in my recent haul, I mentioned that I got a navy and white polka dot dress with the intention of putting it with a skirt over. So you just see the top. So I think I might kind of do the same thing here just because that is so cute with the hearts. It's very Jessica Day. So, of course, he had to get that one. He had to. Ah, nice. Just checking things out. You guys are so sweet. Seriously. It's been, I've been looking forward to this, like, all day. <laughs> I'm like, is it five yet? Like, I want to talk to my friends. Jeez. All right. So, the next thing. Oh, Maria's here. Hello. Hello, hello. 
Courtney. Hi from Georgia. Hello. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for joining. All right. So next up is just this little Ann Taylor polka dot. Those are like large and in charge polka dots little mini skirt and it's um this really cool it's like navy blue with light blue all around it so i mean obviously that was just too cute it is a size 12 which sometimes can be a little big for skirts that i want to fit at my waist i tend to be at 10 um but a 12 in like jeans and pants so we'll see how that one works um if it ends up not working for me it's in perfect condition so maybe i'll put that one up on poshmark as well all right, so yet another print, just a striped one, nothing too fancy, but it is this BP kind of um, high-low, very slightly though. So here's the front layer and here's the back layer. Um, just a little plain tee, not very exciting, <laughs> but I always love these things, you guys know that. So, and it's in really nice condition, no tears or anything, and it feels really soft. And I've always loved the BP, BP brand <laughs> from Nordstrom. They've always had really cute basics, so that's nice. nice. Andy Love, Ann Taylor. I mean, Ann Taylor just gets it so right. I just love it so much. It's so feminine and sweet, but still a little quirky. You always have those quirky little things, so I always love finding those at the thrift store. All right. Next up is a little Banana Republic top, and I found this at the very end. I was literally like, I'm done, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I'm done being shoved around this store by everybody else who's here. And I was kind of like going through my cart, kind of weeding things out, and somebody had just thrown this back, so I snatched it up. But it's just this beautiful light blue lace tank top. Like, I love that. And I think right now, this time of year would be beautiful um, to wear this with, you know, a blazer or a big chunky sweater over it. And looking at it now, I think it would be really pretty with like maroon. I think that would be such a fun combination. So yeah, love that one. All right, so dainty. I know it is very dainty. I love lace stuff. Oh, speaking of maroon. <laughs> I forgot that I had grabbed this one. This one definitely is going to be going up on Poshmark because it is far too tiny for this curvy girl. So it is this Toby just um, pencil skirt, very plain. It's got the exposed zipper in the back there. Um, and I'll show you what the, the tag looks like. Um, but it is a size medium, so it's a little, little tiny. Um, but I just thought it was really cool, classic chic little piece and it was so funny because it, it had fallen off of my stack of stuff when i was going through everything and i started freaking out i was like did someone snatch that while i was like not looking what on earth and then i looked around my cart and it had fallen on the ground i was like okay good we're cool then <laughs> i got v worried there for a minute i know some of these things look totally new right it's kind of crazy all right so next up is it's a LuLaRoe piece. I know I have not been too kind to them in the past, but every now and again, I find a piece that you know, makes me smile, that I think is cute. I'm not gonna go crazy for it, but it is just this little um, black with like teal polka dot. I'm sure it's gonna be really hard to see, but it does have little polka dots in there. But then I just love that rose print. I think that is so cute. And it's just this oversized, just like they're known for. I'm not sure the style name, um, but it's got the slits there. Just kind of an oversized t-shirt style. And this is uh, an extra small. <laughs> this is an extra small, which I'm not, I don't understand their sizing at all. Like that would totally fit me. Yeah, that would fit me. And I'm not an extra small <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but I just really like that print. I think it's cool. I might try it on, see if I like it, see if I like the fit. Because um, I'd be a good just kicking around over leggings kind of thing. Uh, Lisa says, I've seen people cover their carts with blankets. Yes, Lisa, I did indeed see that too. Um, and it was a little frustrating because people would leave their carts that were stacked like five feet high you know, put a blanket over it and then <clears throat> keep following as the new cards were coming out. 
So they just left their cart like in the middle of the row. So as I'm trying to look, I'm having to like go around this huge cart. So I'm like, just put it off to the side. Like I, I just don't, don't understand. So yes, I have seen people do that. They get very into it. Julie's asking, where are the kitty cats? Um, not down here. <laughs> I think they're sleeping upstairs, but they might come uh, come down the stairs soon. Um, we'll see. Hi, guys. Hi to everybody who's joining. Hello, hello. All right, we'll keep going. I only have three more things for this, um, the Goodwill Bins haul. I told you it wasn't very big. Um, so the next one is definitely going to be going up on Poshmark um, because, again, it's just too small for me. But it's this Banana Republic uh, extra fine merino wool sweater. So there's the tag there. It's an extra small, as you can see. But it's got this beautiful, just classic boat neck style. Like it has a fold over piece here. Um, just a basic black sweater. But I picked it up because it's in really, really nice condition. Like it feels really good. Of course, this is the time of year that people are looking to wear sweaters. And I just thought that was so. Audrey Hepburn. Like, I just love a boat neck style on stuff. So, had to get that one too. Oh, you say I look so pretty. That's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> um, where is my sister, my co host sister? Um, she is at home, I'm sure, working on a project of some sort. Um, yeah, I think you guys really enjoyed our last video together, which I always get a kick out of <laughs> the comments that you leave um because we always have a good time and it's fun to kind of let you in on our shenanigans it's just be funny um all right so next up are a couple of jackets that i found and the next one i thought i was going to be selling but now the more that i look at it the more i'm like kind of like that <laughs> like i might need that so it is this new look right there which i think is a uk brand i'm pretty sure but it's actually a maroon color, like a really dark, and it's gonna be really hard, but it's a maroon color here. And then it's got the sleeve detail that's a totally different material. It's more of like a stretchy cotton um, that's black. And then of course it has those cool metal details, the zipper and everything. So yeah, I thought, I was like, oh yeah, I'll be able to sell that, that's pretty cool. And now I'm like, so I just asked on Instagram what kind of lookbooks you guys would want to see. And someone said a leather lookbook, which I'm just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, that sounds like a lot of fun to put together. So I was thinking I need some pieces that aren't black because there's so much black leather, um, which is usually the easiest thing to find. But it'd be cool to throw in some color. So maybe I'll hold on to it just for the lookbook and then sell it. I don't know. It is really cool, though. And the fact that that was at the bins, like the bananas. Crazy. Oh, Mary says to keep it. <laughs> That's so funny. Hi, Melissa. You're not late. No, we just got started a little bit ago, and you can always watch it later, too. Cynthia, hello, hello. Kelly, oh, you're here. Yay. Nice to see you, too. This is awesome. Um, all right, so the last thing that I got is this little plaid Target blazer. And I actually have um, another blazer from Morona up in my Poshmark closet right now that is also a size two, but it's a gray one and it has like contrasting um, sleeves so you can roll them up and it looks really cool and fashionable. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is taking down that listing and then bundling these together since they both happen to be a size two, like how crazy is that? Um, but I just think that they are so fun and cute and just a fun little addition to add on to something more basic. So that was, that was a cool find. Let's see. So that's it for the bin stuff, everything that I found. Um, so now I'm just checking out your comments. Oh, with some leggings and booties. Oh, yeah, that leather jacket would look really cool. And a red lip, always. Always. <laughs> um, Alyssa is saying a minimal lookbook, kind of like a capsule wardrobe kind of thing. I feel like I've done one of those, like, way back in the day. It's been a while. Yeah, let's see. Uh, hi, Sherry. 
Very cool. Oh, you tuned in to see what Santa brought me. Well, you came just in time. Perfect. Awesome. Lisa's asking, do you think they will raise their prices in January? Do I think who will raise their prices? Let me know. I'll see if I can give you an answer. <laughs> Not sure, though. Oh, that's so funny. What to wear to work lookbook. Yes. I think that would be a good one to do, especially in winter time, because it's hard to kind of think of how to be like cute and comfortable and fashionable, but still have to be warm. And then sometimes you have the problem where your office is like super hot because they run the heater all the time. So then you have to have layers and all of that. So yeah, that's a good idea. I love that. Um, let's see. Uh, Faith is asking, how do they decide what goes to the bins? So at least where I am, I, I can't speak all over, um, but at least where I am, it's um, it's just stuff that either didn't sell at the store. Like you'll see a lot of the things that I had um, actually had tags on them. Like this, I think. Yeah, actually had tags on them. So they've been on the store floor, but they just didn't sell. So they must have like a time allotment that they give for everything. And then when it doesn't sell on that time, they take it down from the floor um, and then turn it over to the bins where they put them in all of those blue bins for people to look through. Or sometimes they just have straight donations that go. They don't even have anybody look at them or price them. It just goes straight in there uh, because they're so inundated with uh, inventory. So it's just a quick way to kind of get things in and out. But yeah, that, that means that sometimes you find some really cool stuff. Um, okay, so Lisa's asking if they're going to raise their prices at the Goodwill Clearance. I don't think so. I don't see why they would. Um, and I think where I am, it's $1.49 a pound, I'm pretty sure. But I know that totally varies depending on where you are. Um, so how much did I spend? Carla wants to know. I think this trip was under $12. I think it was like $11.80 or something like that. So not too shabby. All right. So I think I'll go ahead and get into what I got for Christmas. Oh, my gosh. So many cat things. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to pull the bag here. So I'm just going to, like, dive in, tell you who got it for me, all of that. Um, so the first thing that's on top here is from my sister. So it is this camera bag. It's really big and spacious. It has lots of different compartments. Um, I actually got a new um, lens recently that I've been like too scared to use on my videos. I know it's ridiculous, but <laughs> I need to like train myself. Um, so I just have all of this stuff, all these cords and just things that are kind of all in a plastic box, but I thought it'd be really nice to just have it all together so that when I'm filming, I can just grab something and have it all with me. So that was really nice of her. And honestly, I'm so excited to sit down and like organize it all and put it all in here. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> such a nerd. Oh, let's see. Um, a black grunge lookbook. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh I don't know if I would have enough to do an entire lookbook, but maybe sprinkling it in from time to time. Sure, sure. Um, Lisa's in Southern California, and it's $1.99, so yeah, somewhere around that area. Uh, do I do I buy any handbags, Olga? Um, yeah, <laughs> from time to time when I find them. Um, I tend not to focus on looking for purses when I'm uh, out shopping. But if I find a cute one, you know I got to get it. Um, so also from my sister, um, she got me and Christopher last year a um, an ornament that was like our first house together or something like that to commemorate that time. So then this year she got us this. Let's see. So it's our first Married Christmas, Mr. and Mrs. Ball, Katie and Christopher 2018. <laughs> like it's just so cute and I love that it's like acrylic I just think that is so cute so she said that she got it off of Etsy but I'm just really happy with that and I love those things to commemorate those really special times in your life so that'll be fun to hang on our tree next year let's see oh my gosh Jackie is from Australia hello hello there oh my gosh 
so cool. Oh, you guys are so sweet. All right, so let's get into a couple of cat things. So um, Christopher's grandmother always spoils us. It's ridiculous. She's so sweet. Um, so one of the things that she got is this. <laughs> like, I just want to, like, give all these guys names. I'm like, okay, this one is Fred, and that's Ginger, and like, yeah, I just want to like give them all names. They're just so cute. So it's just this little bag, um, but it's like really thick plastic, and I think she gave me one last year, and I use it all the time. So that's just, that's too much fun. I love that. So then another cat thing that I got is from Christopher. <laughs> we give each other stockings um, in addition to kind of our main gift for each other. So pretty much everything in my stocking was like cat or stationary themed or a combination of the two. So he knows my product well. Um, so what he got me is this crazy cat lady cup. <laughs> it's got cat heads all over it. Oh my gosh. So I'm like, okay, so you can't be mad at me if I use it, right? Like you got it for me. <laughs> so I'm very, be excited about that one. Um, I just think it's cute. And I like that some of them are gray, so it looks like our cat. Because I love my, my little fur babies. Um, so then maybe I'll try to get all the cat stuff out of the way. How about that? Uh, so then another <laughs> stationary cat thing that he got me is just so ridiculous. So it's this notebook. It's like, look how stunned those cats look. It's like, what? We have a meeting today? I, I was not prepared for that. Thank God I have a notebook. But <laughs> it's just like, so cool. I can't bring it to work because they would literally think that I'm nuts. Um, so I guess I'll just use it at home for planning other things other than work. But it's just that cat face just makes me laugh. So, oh, <laughs> Colleen saying Christopher needs to uh, vlog bomb me right now. He's not home right now. He's over at his grandparents or else I'm sure he would. That's too funny. Uh, Alicia's saying I need that cup, right? I know all crazy cat ladies need it. Um, so the next one is uh, also from his grandma. Um, oh my gosh, it's so funny. So you guys can see there. Uh, it's just this note paper, but it's got four different designs. I'm hoping it'll focus here. Um, we'll kind of move here so you can see. So it says, let's see, my cat is a jerk, so busy, not caring. Ask me about my cat. That's so me. And then on time for naps. <laughs> Could you imagine if we took like a memo at work and just like left it on someone's desk with this? Just like, oh, did you, did you see that memo that I left for you? On that really amazing cat paper. Like I just, I love it so much. And it's actually useful. We'll use that stuff. Um, so then I think the last of the cat stuff that I have to show you, even though I got more, it's ridiculous. Um, it's just this really cute little crazy cat lady notebook that comes with the little pen here. And what's really funny about this is that both Christopher and his grandma got me one. So I have two of these. <sighs> they know me. So well, so well, so funny. Sherry's asking, <laughs> your workmates aren't aware of your crazy lady status, crazy cat lady status. Uh, yes, they are. <laughs> I think I think they do know. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything cat related at work. I don't think so. So maybe I'll just kind of like sprinkle some into my desk stuff. That's so funny. But yes, they know that I love my fur babies. <laughs> And then I'm a crazy cat. Oh, I was a, a cat lady last year for Halloween and I wore it to the office. So literally I had a sweater with um, cats that I sewed all over it and hair up in curlers with big Ugg boots and a mug that said crazy cat lady. So I think that made it pretty obvious. I'm pretty sure they, they got the memo on that one. <laughs> so funny. Oh, Lynn, hello, hello, hello. Yes, you're in the middle of um, what I got for Christmas. So, hello, welcome. Um, AB is asking, what's on my nails? That's funny. It's just glitter for the new year. I just got them done a couple of days ago. I hope this isn't too awkward. <laughs> or can you guys even see? Hello, focus. No? Well, you guys can see the glitz. Ooh, la, la. 
that feels weird for some I'm going to stop doing that. It feels weird. Uh, <laughs> but I was just like, um, I have the gold glitter. She's like, yeah, and what else? I was like, just the gold glitter. <laughs> like, it's New Year's. Hello. Hello. And I had the entire week off from work. Yum. That's something to celebrate, that's for sure. Um, all right, let's get back into this. So, next thing. I got not one, but two Kate Spade items. Two. I can't even. So, the first one is from his grandma, his grandmama, which, you know, anything that comes in a little Kate Spade couch, or couch, <laughs> pouch. It's pretty amazing. If they made a Kate Spade couch, I would buy it. Sure. Why not? So funny. Um, so what it is, is just these little pearl earrings. Oh, I hope you guys. Yeah. So they have just like the gold posts, but they're kind of oversized. They're pretty big. Um, Kate Spade earrings. Like they're just so perfect. I love them. I got those babies. And then the other Kate Spade thing that I got was actually from Christopher's cousin. It was, it was so sweet that he even thought of me. Um, but he got just this really cute little strawberry Kate Spade notebook. So cute. I love it. Like, that's just so fun. So it's just a spiral notebook with 112 lined pages. So I will be prepared to take those notes. Apparently, people think I have a lot of notes to take. <laughs> like, I'm literally looking... This is all paper. These are all some kind of notepad or notebook of some kind. So it's cool. Makes me feel like I should be writing something. It's too funny. All right. Uh, so next, I think I'll get into what my parents got me. So first up was something that I asked for from my mom and dad. Um, and that is this Revlon, let's see, One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. Um, I'm always looking how to like cut down time and doing my hair. I get really frustrated with my hair. I could do my makeup all day, all day. I could like do a crazy liner, like do different, like uh, all day I'll spend right here. My hair, I'm just like, can I just like brush it? Like, do I have to do something with it? I'm not, I'm not in the mood. So when I saw this and I saw the reviews for it on YouTube that all looked really good, I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. So if you guys have used it, please make sure to let me know um, in the comments right now if you like it. Because it looks very cool. I have no idea where I'm going to store that, by the way. Our bathroom is very small. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. Um, all right. So next up from Mom and Dad. Um, oh, Sherry's asking you to do a review. There one. There's a couple of reviews up right now. And this one girl, oh, my God, I do not remember her name. But she had really curly hair, really curly hair. And she talked about how it used to take her a really long time to blow dry and straighten it um, to get it to the point that she liked. So she literally did half of her hair using that tool. And it was like the silkiest, most beautiful straight hair. So I saw that one. And I think that's when I was like, yep, this is what I want. <laughs> like, I'm going to need that for Christmas. So there are a couple of reviews out on YouTube if you want to just go and check it out. So funny. Um, Georgina, hiya. <laughs> Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, all right, so next up are some silly birds. <laughs> like, that's just made me laugh. They're so cute and fun. So my mom always, like, without a doubt, will get me and my sister pajamas like and or slippers like usually she'll get the whole set and it was hilarious because last year she decided oh my girls are old enough they don't need pajamas from their mom on Christmas Eve and it was like straight up anarchy we were like what are you thinking <laughs> like we count on those pajamas every year every year there are winter pajamas and you just you just decided not to this year so I think from here on out, it will just, she'll always get them. So it was so funny. Um, so we all got matching slippers. Oh my God, my moms are black and then me and my sister have the teal. So soft, so soft. And they're just fun. Like what a cute thing to wear around the house. So I love those. 
And then speaking of the PJs, let me dig in here a little bit. Um, <laughs> so when we got to uh, my mom and dad's on Christmas morning, we always open gifts over there and then just spend the day kind of lounging. Um, my mom was wearing these really cute red pajamas. And me and my sister are like, oh, those are so cute. Lo and behold, those are the ones that she got for everybody. So yay. So they are these little red pajamas with the plaid pants. And then it's really hard, but there is a little mini character there on the shirt. Um, it's all folded up so nicely, but let me see if I can kind of pull her out. So there's like a little Christmas mini. Ah! <laughs> Look at her so sassy. Like she's my spirit animal, I think. Like I just I love her so much. So yes, the debacle of the uh, Christmas pajamas is over <laughs> and it was restored. So that's good. So funny. Uh, Tinkerbell slippers, they, they are kind of. They're kind of Tinkerbell. That's so funny. All right. So, uh, oh, how else do I? Oh, so I got another pair of pajamas from Christopher's grandmother. Like it combines two of my great loves in this world: coffee. <laughs> they are so cute. They're by Monkey Monkey, which I think they might carry at Target. I could be wrong though. But they're just the really like classic button up style. But it just has like different types of coffee. So it says like spiced, sweet, perfect. I love it so much. Fancy. There's fancy coffee, nutty coffee, strong coffee, speedy coffee. Oh my God. I should just buy a whole bunch of these right now. Like these are just so cute. And you just feel so soft. And like, look, I can make like a whole. <laughs> like yes yes i'm gonna be slaying the game in my christmas pjs so funny oh you're saying uh you love getting pjs cozy socks and coffee mugs yes i agree and i think there's just an age where that just becomes standard like you stop getting you know fun cutesy things i don't think i've quite reached that age just given the things that i've shown you guys but <laughs> <laughs> then it starts becoming like more practical things and socks and you know all that which is still great to get it's still a gift and it's useful so that's awesome um okay so next i'll show you some clothes um that my mom and dad got and i pretty much just sent a link to exactly what i wanted on unique vintage they were having such a big sale and oh my God, if I could just buy out all of Unique Vintage, like they have a Disney collection, they have a Dapper Day collection, they have the most beautiful pieces, but they are a little pricey. But I thought with the sale and the fact that it was Christmas, you know, I could ask for a couple of things. So the first thing that I got, oh my God, look at this, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so perfect. It's this little um, kind of crepe style, big old polka dot, very Minnie Mouse um, little skirt here and just swings. Like that's just so fun. So I might see how it works with my petticoat, but it might be a little too swingy, but I just love that so, so much. That's just too fun. It'll be, I mean, the twirlability on that though, going to be through the roof, you guys, through the roof. And then something that I can actually pair with that is this beautiful, it's going to be kind of hard to see, um, but it's this little Hell Bunny vintage, let me tuck in the tag there, um, off shoulder, kind of peasant top here. So it's very like body conscious and very sexy. You get that decollete there. But I was just thinking I need just a really good basic top that I can pair with all of these amazing skirts that I find. So that one I think was like on sale for 20 ish dollars right around there. So yeah, very excited. Um, Georgina is asking when you open gifts, do you listen to Christmas songs? Yes, we have a tradition that I'm going to keep going forever that we listen to the Charlie Brown Christmas 
soundtrack. We listened to the Vince Lombardi, is that who it is? Um, but all of those songs from Charlie Brown Christmas, and I always have to watch Charlie Brown Christmas. I did it a few weeks ago when I was wrapping all my gifts. So we put that on, we all sip on our coffee and share gifts, and it's just such a great time. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys do the same thing. I always love hearing that kind of stuff, what you listen to. And what your traditions are, that's part of the fun. All right, so last from Unique Vintage are a couple of neck scarves. So I got one gingham one. Sorry, they're still in their package. I literally just shoved everything in a bag and I was saving it for this occasion so I wouldn't lose anything. So I got this gingham one. So cute, so classic. And then this red one because I really wanted this one because the one that I've been using was like rectangular, which just limits what you can do with it. So I think I'll be able to um, do a little bit more with this one when it comes to like putting it in my hair or going around my neck or any of that good stuff. So very happy with that. All right, so um, let's see. So <laughs> the last thing that I got from my parents you guys know I'm a nerd. It's fine. I'll share it. So <laughs> it's a laminator. Yeah, it's a thermal laminator, y'all. What? Living it up. <laughs> but I am so into planning and all of that stuff and scrapbooking. That I thought it'd be really fun to use this to make like bookmarks and little um like page inserts and even covers for my planner because I use the happy planner and I have the little punch because it has a specific whatever. Um, <laughs> so I thought I could make my own covers instead of paying crazy amounts of money on Etsy for them. So I am so excited. So I got this and a hundred sheets of the thermal paper that I can use with it. <laughs> like, ugh. and I have this week off, so I'm just going to like craft and make videos and just live my best life pretty much. I'm so excited. Any of you guys planners out there? Let me know. Are you into happy planner? No, use your phone like everybody else. That's fine. It's cool. I know I'm, I'm on an island. It's okay. So funny. <laughs> Starshine fashion says you remind me of a teacher. That's funny. I used to teach art. So maybe it's all, it's all in there. It's all gelling. Um, oh. <laughs> I forgot I also got these from my parents. These cute little um, sloth socks. They're the little like ankle ones. I have had such a newfound love for sloths. Like I used to just be like, what is their purpose? I don't understand, they're weird. And then I saw this ad for um, the Wildlife uh, Foundation, the really like popular one. Um, and it's a thing where you can sponsor a two-toed sloth and you get like a plush of it. And they had pictures of what the plush looked like and it was the cutest damn thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so I like immediately sent it to my mom. I was like, look, and they have all of these different animals. So there's like elephants and, you know, leopards, all of it. So I think I may be sponsoring a sloth pretty much so I can get my hands on that adorable little plush. Like it was just so cute. So I think my mom caught on to the fact that I am really in just loss right now. They're just so cute. Precious. Oh, Lynn is saying you can use the laminator to make some awesome snow globe ornaments. Ornies? Is this, a, is this sounds like a Tom Haverford thing. <laughs> like I'll call ornaments ornies. That's very funny. That makes me laugh. That would be really cute, actually. What a really great idea. I'm going to look that up on Pinterest. I'm sure there's some uh, DIYs on there. How funny. Okay, so I thought that I showed you guys all of the cat stuff that I got, but I didn't. There was one hiding. So this came from Christopher's mom, which was very sweet. So it is just this <laughs> black cat and polka dot mustard shirt. Like, come on, it's so cute. And I could really see this like tucked into like a pencil skirt at the office. Like if they didn't know that I'm a crazy cat lady now, they're about to find out, right? Like just walk in, like, like nothing's happening. Just like, hey guys, what's up? 
How's your New Year's? Oh yeah, these these are cats. What you gonna say about it? <laughs> like it's just so cute. I love that mustard color too. I have nothing that mustard color. I've been looking for a skirt that color, so hopefully I'll find one one of these days. I know, isn't that fun? You guys are all saying you love the shirt. Yeah, that's a fun one. Okay, so to wrap up my what I got for Christmas, in addition to cats, planning, thrift shopping, <laughs> makeup, all the things that I love, I've also become wildly obsessed with Stranger Things. And yeah, I get it. I'm way late here. But me and Christopher have been doing this thing where we do like a, not even a date night, but just like, hey, let's go do this thing. Or I want to watch this movie or show. Um, and the other person can't say no. You have to say yes. So he gave me um, the option a few, like a couple of months ago to either watch Interstellar or Stranger Things. And I've not been too keen on watching Interstellar. That's that's just me. So I was like, let's try Stranger Things, like fine. And I've been hearing about it, but I was just like, eh, it just doesn't look like it's for me. Y'all, it's so for me. <laughs> like I love it so much, so much. Um, it, we whipped right through both seasons and now I'm just like anxiously awaiting the next season. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Like waiting for the, the teasers and all that. Um, so now I guess that's caught on that I am full on obsessed with everything to do with Stranger Things. I got myself, um, a little 11 and Barb statue. <laughs> so those are up in the office right now. I still hold a candle for Barb. I mean. R.I.P. Barb. Like, she was pretty amazing. Um, so if you guys have heard of it and you're just thinking, mm, I'm not really into sci-fi. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. But it's about so much more than that. It's about the story with the main characters and what they go through. And just it's full of so much heart. And it's just, it's honestly amazing. Just try it. See if you like it. Um, and the characters. I mean, the actors on there are phenomenal. Uh, so with that being said, <laughs> I got a couple of shirts. Um, the first one is from my mom and dad. So it's a these one. So it says, uh, it only gets stranger. So you can check that out. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I freaked out when I opened this stuff up. I was just like, ah! total fangirl moment. Um, so then this one is from, um, Christopher. And it, there's a little story with this one because I was so far behind everybody that when I would look at stuff for Stranger Things after watching the first season, I would see things for season two that I just, I didn't know what the story was. So that included this shirt. And I remember seeing it and just going, what's up with Eleven's hair? Like what, what happened though? <laughs> but then seeing the story and the episode or that, like, it's just, I'm, oh, I love it. So it just says dad goals right there. I love it so much, so much. So then I love the shirts. Like those are awesome. But also this was like a totally unexpected gift also from a Christopher's grandmother. So it is this Stranger Things book. I know there's a big glare but it says world's turned upside down and it's meant to look like a beat up old book. And it even tells you right there, like, don't worry. <laughs> we meant for it to look that way. Um, but it's pretty much just like behind the scenes, kind of telling you about all the characters. It goes into some of the costumes. Um, and there's even way in the back here. Let me see if I can open it up. Um, there's a map of the city. So, it's just so cool. Like I can totally just nerd out and read all of the like little intricacies of the show and see all the behind the scenes pictures and stuff. So that just made me be happy. Like I cannot wait to crack into this. And what was really funny is I happened to see on Hannah Rupp's uh, Instagram stories that she had just checked this out from the library. So I'm like, oh my God, I just got it too. So we'll have to exchange notes about it. Ugh, it's, ugh. Just love that show. All right. That's going to do it, you guys. <laughs> That's everything I found at the bins and what I got for Christmas.
I hope you had a lot of fun watching, but I'll stay here for a couple minutes if you guys just want to chat with me or share with me what you got for Christmas or any other holiday. Um, but thank you so much for being here. And it's just, it's so fun to connect with you guys. Um, and just in case you missed it, a couple of weeks ago, I did do a live haul over on the Thrift Babes Facebook page, which if you are not a, a member of that page, you have to go join it. It is so much fun. It's growing really rapidly. Uh, Sammy Davis is the one who runs it and she's just a breath of fresh air. It's so much fun. So go ahead and join that and then you'll actually see my haul kind of a couple of weeks ago um, on there that you can see some other goodies that I haven't shared anywhere else. It's like an exclusive. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, someone's saying that I'd like the Once Upon a Time TV show. You know what? I tried that a long time ago. Are they still making it? Is it still coming out? Um, I tried it and then just kind of dropped off with it. So maybe I'll pick that back up. I'm always looking for new shows to check out, especially in the meantime, between all these ones that I'm obsessed with. Uh, Sherry, oh, thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, I will enjoy my week off. You better believe it. Thanks, Barbara. Thanks for being here. Awesome. Oh, we have some dish here. Sarah is saying that the bins are going to go up to $1.54 on January 1st. Thank you guys for sharing that. That's okay. Not a crazy jump. I think that's still really, really reasonable. Awesome. Oh, thanks, Lynn. You're so sweet. You enjoy my style of videos and thrifting. That's so great. I always love connecting with other thrifters all over the world. It's so much fun. That's awesome. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. You guys have an amazing New Year's. Have fun thrifting in 2019. And I will see you again really soon. Bye.